Hey, what's going on, Scorpio? How are you? Scorpio, thank you guys so much for being here. <clears throat> Don't adjust your TV screens. You're actually seeing me. This is Antoine with Illuminant Libra Tarot. So um, listen, I'm trying something different. Usually I do the hands, but let me know if you like the whole face to face thing. All right. Put that down in the comments. Anyways, we are here for your uh, first part of September read for 2019. OK, so Scorpio sun, moon rising. This will be for you. Um, if the messages don't resonate, then, of course, you know, don't force it. Nobody likes a forced message. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Um, to save time, I did have to pre-pull some of your cards, um, but the first card that we have, the first two cards that we have to kind of set the energies here is grounding and uh, personal boundaries, okay? So it's card number six and then card number 16, grounding and personal boundaries. So what I'm really feeling here the most with this energy, um, Scorpio, is I'm, de I'm, I'm really feeling like um, for a lot of you, you may have been spending some time alone just to kind of recharge yourself. Scorpio can be that very much so, you know, where they just kind of need that time to just be to themselves, you know, just to kind of be in tune with whatever the, whatever they feel about what things have happened in the day. Like, uh, Scorpio, there's a need for you to just kind of be a little bit deep, right? Um, and there's a need for other people to kind of really like respect your boundaries in that way, you know? Um, like, hey, if you have roommates, it's like, look, don't come in my room when you know that I just got home. I need to like just kind of, uh, you know, like, or if it's a relationship, it's like, well, listen, you know, um, you know, I, it, 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 it Oh, in a relationship, this may be where somebody, someone really isn't okay yet with like PDA, you know, right? But anyways, I do have it clarified with the web and eggs, okay? Scorpio, I'm feeling like you may have, um, you may have reached a point in your life, like something has happened um, and you need to take care of either yourself or a particular situation with a lot of delicacy okay um some of you may be ooh. some of you may be pregnant or finding out that you're pregnant or finding out that you know someone that you that you've been with is pregnant if you know if you're a guy uh but others of you this is just where um this is where people are um people may be looking for you people may be needing you but um you know you are trying to make sure that you are adamant in making sure that you set certain boundaries for yourself um, because that's what you need to do to feel stable within your own emotions. Okay. Um, but never mistake that though. You are cooking up something, right? Like while you're isolating yourself, you're cooking something up. Okay. You're handling something. All right. Let's go ahead and flip these tarot cards. We have the six of wands, the three of swords, and the knight of wands. So someone has hurt you or there has been some disappointment. This could be about a relationship with the three of swords here and this knight of wands energy. I'm feeling with, okay, so we have the, we have the six of wands, the three of swords, and then the knight of wands. So what I'm feeling is I'm feeling like, okay, um, there may have been a little bit of disappointment. Like you may have been successful at something, but there was a little bit of disappointment because, you know, uh, Maybe it didn't happen the way that you wanted it to happen, okay? So with the Knight of Wands, there's almost like a need to go back um, and not necessarily fix something, but you just need to go back and just kind of maybe uh, just redo it how you would want to do it. Like, it's not broken. You just want to redo it the way you want to do it. Um, Oh, and then the Ace of Wands is the card that was under the deck there. <sighs> mm. 
I'm also feeling that for some of you, yeah, you may have an opportunity that's knocking at your door. You don't want to disappoint anyone by choosing to do it or to choosing to go there. Like you don't want to disappoint anyone. Um, so you may be kind of going back and forth. You may be kind of splitting your time between things. Um, this may be about, uh, this is a lot of fire energy, okay? So this could be about um, a fire sign, someone that you have a lot of admiration for. They have a lot of admiration for you. There's a lot of sexual energy here that, um, like this, oh God, the Six of Wands and this Knight of Wands, like you guys have great sex, but, but the opportunity is almost like there's an opportunity there, but it's like you don't want to be disappointed. You don't want to be hurt because you're trying to understand, like you need to understand what can I do? What can I not do with this person? The Six of Wands is being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So, all right. So, yeah. So, Scorpio, you've got the bag. You've got the money. You're successful. Okay. The Three of Swords is being clarified by the Two of Cups. So, yes, this is about a relationship. This is about someone who has hurt you. Okay. Or someone who has disappointed you. Yeah, you guys made a beautiful team. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you guys made a beautiful team together as far as, um, you know, a business situation or, you know, you guys uh, kept a beautiful home. Right. But with the three of swords being clarified by the two of cups, I feel like, you know, that there was still just everything wasn't really everything wasn't really peaches and cream here in this situation. Ah, so we have the knight of swords and the knight of swords, is, uh, the, the knight of wands. I mean, it's still is being now being clarified by the page of cups. So listen, Scorpio. Mm. There may be an apology coming. Or you may be extending an apology to someone. Uh, Scorpio, I feel like for a lot of you, you may be the one that's extending the apology to someone. Um, it's like, you know, sorry that I hurt you. Sorry that I, you know, uh, you know, kind of tested the boundaries a little bit too much with you. And, you know, I should have been doing this, but I was doing this, you know, um, under the deck, though, oh, is the Justice card with the Ace of Wands. It's being clarified by the Justice card. So, Scorpio, this could mean another shot. This could mean a reconciliation, a successful one at that with the Six of Wands and the Ten of Cups, Ten, uh, ten of uh, Pentacles. This could be a successful reconciliation, okay? But with that being said, you're going to have to come from a sincere place. You're going to have to get that root and that sacral chakra together. Uh, you're going to... Um, you know, you're going to have to follow your gut instincts, follow your gut instincts with this, but at the same time, um, remain practical about it. Okay. You know, you know, don't, um, just assume that everything is going to go the way you want it to go because it may not. All right. But what I do feel like this, what I do feel like is I do feel like there is being, there is an, an apology that is being expressed here in the relationship. Um, and uh, and uh, the relationship, you know, it, it, it takes form again. It takes form again. This Ace of Wands and this Justice just tells me that you guys have a new opportunity at setting something right. So, yes, someone is trying to go back and fix something. Uh, Scorpio, there could be a fire sign or a Libra that may be trying to come back and fix something with you. Um, or you may be trying to fix something with that person. Okay. Let's go ahead and get see how we can navigate through this energy for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Someone was a cheater. Someone broke your heart that way, or you broke that, their heart that way, but, but there's an apology being offered because someone recognizes where the truth really is, and they, they say, okay, well, the truth is in this relationship with Scorpio, or Scorpio, you're saying the truth is in this relationship with them. You're recognizing that that's where you need to be. Um... And so be it.
right, how can we navigate to this energy spirit? Oh, okay. Oh, look. So the maiden. Look at that. The maiden. So the maiden tells us that a new relationship blossoms. Okay. So this could be spirit introducing a whole new person into the mix for you to help you get over the disappointment from the last relationship. Okay. Someone that you are going to be very much sexually attracted to. And, um, and they're going to be the, the right fit for you with the Ace of Wands and the, and the, and the, uh, and the Justice card. <clears throat> this opportunity is going to be the right fit opportunity for you. It's a win. This person knows your boundaries. They know how to, they know what to do and what not to do, or at least they, you know, it's, it seems as though they can feel what to do and what not to do um, to make sure that, you know, that this relationship, this new relationship is going to be successful. All right. So this is either a reconciliation with someone from the past that has hurt you, um, that didn't understand your boundaries before. All right. Because, you know, they were very like low vibrational themselves. Someone that really, really hurt you because you thought that this was like your soulmate and you put all of your energy into this person. Right. So this person could be coming back to, you know, just apologize to you, express like, you know, they're running. They're running back to you to express that they want another chance with you. Um, or this could be, uh, you know, in a, in a, you know, you guys end up in a new relationship with one another. But this also could mean someone, excuse me, someone completely different coming in and, um, you know, just, uh, you know, taking away all of that disappointment, taking away all of that, um, taking away all of all of those uh, those doubts and just letting you understand that, you know, oh, this is what it really feels like to be in um, a grounded relationship where people respect other people's boundaries, you know, um, it's a win-win, Scorpio. I do feel like that. So uh, these are your messages. I hope everything works out for you. Let me know how everything does work out in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me with this whole new format. Again, I'm trying something new. So if you like it uh, or if you don't, just let me know in the comment box below. Okay. Bye. Talk to you later.